So we're here, the Linear Connect here in Vancouver 2018. And uh, who are you? Hey, uh, I'm Animan Sadasivan, Applications Engineer at Linear 96 Boards team. So what are you doing with the 96 Boards? Um, so I focus on applications uh, around 96 boards, uh, which means that uh, I get to create a lot of applications based on various 96 boards, like uh, CEE and uh, IE boards. So uh, what's the latest that's that's happening, and uh, are, are you doing some kind of uh, uh, special projects? Yeah, so uh, during my early days at uh, 96 boards, I was doing the whole lot of application stuff, uh, creating various projects and all. But now my focus is uh, somewhat changed, so I'm focusing on standardizing the software support for our boards, uh, which means that uh, I'll be more, uh, more focusing on the uh, software implementations like Zephyr, uh, U-Boot, uh, and Linux kernel. So we have uh, support for most of our boards, and then um, I'll be working on standardizing those board support so that it makes uh, it it creates better user experience. Is this uh, what's called upstreaming? Yes, upstreaming is one part of that uh, standardization. So, um, uh, so we at 96 boards uh, encourage vendors and partners to do the upstreaming for their boards because we don't have enough resources to upstreaming to upstream all of our boards. But uh, what we can, uh, but what I'm trying to do is, um, uh, I'm trying to upstream the boards which are very uh, uh, necessary for us, and also um, it lacks uh, uh, vendor support for because. Uh, they don't have enough resources to set up a landing team within uh, Linaro, but those four boards might possess some great potential. Take for example, uh, for instance, this board, uh, Rock 960. Uh, I'm currently actually working on uh, upstreaming this board on both uh, U-Boot and uh, Linux kernel. It's uh, very close to merge, so uh, this is a great potential board and. Um, so this, this is uh, with, the, with those cool guys uh, based in Shenzhen, right? Yeah, and they are based in Shenzhen. So it's a small team. Small team. Yeah. A very cool, cool team. But how do you help them? So what do you do? So uh, that's what I said before. Uh, so I upstreamed uh, the Linux kernel and U-Boot uh, support for this board. And also one more board called Ficus. So I did the uh, U-Boot support for that board along with one more guy from uh, Colabra. Yeah. And uh, is there a lot of work that goes into upstreaming? How does it how does it happen? Do you, so are you so happy when one little thing goes up in the stream? Oh yeah, so uh, that's actually uh, uh, that's actually a lot of work I would say because uh, it's not about just writing the code. It's about getting approvals from the people, uh, the maintainers actually. So uh, most of the time we are spent on uh, getting approvals from them. So e writing the code is easier, and then uh, pushing the code to the upstream repository is much harder. I would say. So who's the uh, Who's the maintainer that you deal with? Uh, so that actually spans across different subsystems of Linux kernel, and uh, that holds the same for U-Boot also. So we have a lot of uh, subsystem maintainers and uh, board maintainers. For this Rock 960 board, I think uh, Hainko is the maintainer of Linux kernel. And then U-Boot, it usually happens uh, uh, with the Philip. So <clears throat> those guys are uh, really cool, and then uh, they provide uh, suggestions on how to improve the board support. And then I just follow them, and then uh, finally they'll get it merged. And uh, how is it? Is it by email? Yes, everything goes by email mailing list. Uh, so um, that is a mailing list for uh, Linux kernel and then U-Boot. You just send patches to them, and then they'll uh, test it, they'll verify it, and if everything seems to be OK, they'll just merge and then send pull request to the corresponding maintainer of U-Boot and Linux kernel. So uh, how does it feel to be uh, uh, doing all this upstreaming and all the, the it, stuff that you're doing? Yeah, it feels very great because um, uh, I think that's the only area of 96 boards where we need more focus. Uh, because uh, previously we left entirely to the vendors uh, to to do the upstreaming. They were doing a great job for Dragon Board and uh, Heike uh, boards. But uh, with other boards, uh, it was uh, tough because uh, they didn't have enough resources to uh, do upstreaming. Uh, but we are not entirely taking up the upstreaming uh, for all of our boards. That's very tough for us. But what we are trying to do is we are, we are just trying to help the partners and uh, vendors to upstream their boards. And that's very important. If you don't do it, then uh, things don't really work or what? Yeah, so um, we left almost uh, uh, six to seven boards uh, go down because of because they don't have any uh, good upstream support. So um, we are not offering any services, but we are just helping out the vendors. It's really the vendor's responsibility to upstream their boards, and we are just really helping them out. Uh, so what other what things goes into what you're doing? Um, so uh, I'm 
actually working on some other uh, automotive work also. Um, I can't disclose it right now, but uh, I'm working on an automotive stack called uh, AutoWare. Uh, it's for the uh, advanced driver assistance system, and it's uh, it is a stack created by the Japanese university, and uh, it's being backed by some automotive companies also. It's really cool, and I'm working on that. Uh, apart from that, I'm working on this too, uh, on um, U-Boot, Linux kernel, and Zephyr. So, uh, how does the usual day go for you? Do you just sit there by your computer and you have the boards and then yeah. you tickle around and then you do some code? <sighs> Yeah, so actually uh, I have a home office. Um, uh, I don't have a home office, I have a work office. So uh, I travel um, my from my home to work office. I work there till uh, 8 or 9 p.m. depends upon the work. And then I get back to my home. So usually my day starts with the forum post. So we have a, a huge community. We have a huge forum for helping out the community. So my daily task would be to just look at the uh, issues Issues which were created in the forum and then uh, just try to respond them and uh, I'll spend a couple of hours on that and then uh, after that I'll work on my stuffs like the um, auto wear and then um, uh, upstreaming so in the forum of the 96 boards or yeah uh, it's called discuss dot 96 boards dot com uh, dot org and that's where uh, it's a, a single uh, forum for all of our 96 boards. We do have different categories for each and every board. So the, what the users will uh, do is if they find something weird or if they want to clarify something, they will just go to the uh, forum and they will create an issue uh, for the corresponding category of the board. And it will come to us and uh, we, uh, 96 boards team, along with the uh, support and solutions team of Linaro, uh, we try to uh, solve that issue by responding them and uh, doing whatever they want. And uh, so where is your office and where do you live? So I mainly live in southern part of India, it's Tamil Nadu. Um, my hometown is E Road. Uh, so my uh, home is in a village, so that's a remote village. So I, I didn't, I don't have any network connection over there. So no I, internet at home. Uh, no, I do no have internet, but it's not the fiber one. It's not very yeah. speed. So, but I need a fast internet speed for my work. So I rented a ho uh, home in my uh, nearby town. I'll be going them and working and then coming back. How long time does it take? Uh, it takes twenty minutes to reach my work office with the bike. Bicycle. Yeah, bicycle. bicycle. Yeah. But it's safe, right? There are not too many cars? Yeah, uh, uh, I said it's a small town, so... Uh, <laughs> and and uh, so how did you... I already asked in the previous video, but how did you start in, with the 96 boards in Lenaro? Um, so uh, uh, I passed out from college in 2016, and then I went to uh, MathWorks. So MathWorks is the company who created the MATLAB software. So I was an intern there, and then I got the full-time opportunity. And then uh, for some reason, I had to switch back to my uh, um, hometown uh, for family reasons. And then I was looking for a job. Then I came to know about 96 boards and Linaro. But that time, I was very interested in open source because MathWorks is a closed source company. I was interested in open doing an open source, uh, working for an open source company. And that's where Linaro came into picture. And then um, I got an opportunity. I was interviewed with the 96 boards team. And uh, I was recruited. And how did you find out about it? Is um, it my video? No, I'm joking. No, <laughs> not with your how video. How did you find <laughs> it? <laughs> so, I was really following the Linaro because uh, I was doing some kind of uh, kernel work um, at the time. I was just starting out with the industrial I/O subsystem, upstreaming a uh, few sensors. Um, so uh, while doing upstreaming, if anyone is involved with the Linux kernel community, they will know Linaro because Linaro is the main uh, big player of a uh, kernel community. So uh, by that way, I came to know about Linaro and I was just checking the uh, career page of Linaro every day. <laughs> and uh, finally, one day this job came uh, and then uh, I just applied. For the 96 boards, uh, what do you yeah. call it? For, for the 96 sports team, uh, so we got the uh, applications engineer position opened at that time and then I applied it and I was interviewed and then I got hired. Cool. So you're having fun also the Lenaro Connect. How many have you been so far? Uh, so this is my third Connect, and uh, I would say Lenaro Connect is the best place uh, for um, hanging out because uh, all of our, most of our Lenaro people uh, work remotely, which means that we uh, don't get to see each other uh, very frequently. So Lenaro Connect is the place where uh, we catch up each other and then uh, discuss, and it's a nice event and it's a must-to-have. I would say because five months and three weeks. 
uh, you don't see all the guys, but then for one week you see, but then there's some other, maybe some other events potentially? Um, so um, usually uh, folks from Linaro, they go to various events like uh, Embedded Linux Conference, Linux Plumbers and uh, uh, Open Source Summit and all. Um, but I'm not going there yet. Uh, so my uh, <coughs> So my get-together point is Linaro Connect so far, and uh, usually these people uh, meet in different conferences. All right, cool. Uh, so, so that's uh, exciting right now, what's happening in the next step? Yeah, it's more exciting. Um, so the work which I'm going to do uh, for the next couple of weeks is to standardize the LEDs on uh, each of our boards. So you can see here, uh, we, uh, okay, you can see here, uh, we have LEDs here between these two USBs. There are four LEDs. And then here we have two LEDs. So my job is to uh, standardize the functionality of these LEDs across all of our boards. Like uh, we do have LEDs on this board, on this board here. So my job will be to standardize the functionality and then the um, uh, labels or whatever uh, things in the Linux kernel. All right, but, they, 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 but there's gonna be more and more and more. Yeah, so uh, my point is to uh, create a standardization uh, for LEDs now so that uh, if more boards uh, come out in future, we can just adapt to the standardization so that it will not become a mess of uh, things. Cool. So looking forward to the to the next Linear Connect, right? Yep, sure. See you there. And uh, keep watching 96 boards and uh, blog posts written by me and Sahaj Sarup and other 96 boards team. Thank you. <laughs>